It looks like it could be a tricky right. winter Junior for Jeremy Hunt. Is currently ongoing in England the today has been caused this contact uh, that he has imposing a large is unsafe for the patients, the for the people nowhere else right. in the world. These Does healthcare people. become politicised in this way? Elvis, we already have a seven We shall see. This is a very dangerous game of brinkmanship. Never in the history of the NHS have junior doctors gone on all-out strike. No, it's a sensational vote, isn't it? 98%. I mean, you can't even, legislating against the unions can't hit that. 98%. You have timed this, haven't you, for absolute maximum disruption? Well, I think the BMA and junior doctors feel that they have been backed into a corner. It, you have to have made a complete horlicks of something to get 98% of junior uh, doctors who voted to vote for strike action. First of all, we don't know what these doctors, what the doctors are striking about. To me, been very it looks clear. like, no, it, to they me, have it been looks, very, very clear. To me, it looks like you're striking about money. I do not trust that health minister. He does not understand what it is to be a junior doctor. He does not understand what is in the interest of the NHS. So you've got a problem here. When 96% of Britain's junior doctors all get together and say to you, the health secretary, we're going on a national strike for the first time ever, it's not a good moment for you, is it, sir? If our back is up against the wall and we have to strike for the good of our patients, then it is our moral okay. duty to do so. The government has pushed us into this course of action. Even today, with a mandate of 98%, we have said to the government, please, let's have proper conciliation talks. The government refuses. But well, we are very, very happy to uh, look at that possibility at a later stage. But, you know, we have, because we have some independent proposals, you can't keep going back to uh, more and more independent processes. But it doesn't look like there's any chance of this strike not going ahead unless you go to ACAS. That's what doctors' leaders are calling for. You're saying no. Therefore, that may appear that it's your decision to allow this strike to go ahead because you want to stick to the principle here and that risks patients. Last week, I agreed for officials to meet them under the auspices of ACAS. I'm pleased to report to the House that discussions led to a potential agreement. The BMA agrees to suspend strike action. I think the tragedy is that it took so long for the BMA to want to actually sit around the table and discuss it. It's rather difficult, though, for them to get around the table and negotiate, because haven't they been told by Jeremy Hunt that if they don't basically agree all the proposals, it will be imposed on them? So I think they're allowed to quibble with one thing out of 23. How can they sit down and negotiate? The Royal College of Physicians has estimated you need about 40,000 more junior doctors. That's double the number we currently have. And currently, there's no money being offered for that, and there's no investment in that. So actually, nobody said that we're going to hire more doctors. Yeah. So quite simply, you're either going to stretch the number of doctors that you currently have and endanger patients during the week, or you're going to hire double the number of doctors to deliver that sort of weekend service. Junior doctors will stage a 24-hour walkout, uh, walkout next Tuesday after talks with the government over new contracts broke down. The, the BMA may be saying that, but I'm not sure they are fairly representing doctors well, they or the interests that. of doctors. Yes, they are. I'm a junior doctor and I would very much like to say I have not been misled by the BMA. Uh, we had 16 areas of disagreement and we think we found a solution on 15 of the 16. Well, that's made up and I don't know where it comes from. Public opinion, according to the latest opinion polls, is very much with the doctors, as you'd expect. I mean, in a sort of basically in a punch up between politicians and people who save lives, who do you think people are generally going to buy? But it's interesting, we you are not saying this morning that you are going to impose the contract. In other words, you are hoping still that you can solve this with talks. Well, we have said that. If we can't solve this problem, we have to deliver our manifesto. Mr Speaker, the health service uh, is devolved, but junior doctors in Scotland are not planning to strike next week. Why does the Prime Minister think that the Scottish Government has good relations with junior doctors and his government doesn't? Yeah. Does Nigel Farage support the junior doctors in their strike action? No. Why not? No, I don't. Um, I think that um, they are behaving in an extremely militant way. This strike is not necessary, it will be damaging, uh, we'll do everything we can to mitigate its effects. They are taking advantage of the fact that most people who become junior doctors are super bright, mm. but they've chosen not to go into the city, they have chosen not to go out and make money, they've chosen to work for the health service. The junior doctors, as I understand it, have decided to call off their strike and... Uh, when have you heard that? I, I think it was on the front page of... Uh, 
the Daily Telegraph, I think. Uh, That's cool. I don't know how you read that headline. Junior doctors plan strike action. My my edition said call off strike action. Well, it's unknown to Jeremy Hunt. I spoke to him at 20 past seven oh, this you? morning. Yes, oh, really? I did. Yes. What the public will need to understand is that who would they rather trust? 53,000 plus junior doctors are saying that this contract is both unsafe and unfair for patients. 53,000 junior doctors who hold the patients, hold the patient's hand, their family's hand to the darkest moment of their lives, who are telling you this is unsafe, or uh, a multi-millionaire front bench Tory politician who's just probably gunning for the top job once David Cameron gives up screwing the country. And do you, do you feel it's good that doctors on the eve of a national strike, and indeed the people who use the NHS, aren't able to hear from Hang on, second second. we're not doing this nonsense. Like, <laughs> it's like, well, we're recording all this, so there you go. Okay, not to we agreed a uh, series of questions. As the no, no, well, I didn't agree any questions. So here we have the first uh, doctor strike since, well, I don't know, the 1970s. I mean, the strange thing about today's industrial action, though, is no word, really, from the government. What's your message to junior doctors? My name is Roger. I am a tax-paying member of this country and I support the NHS. I support these doctors. I support what they are doing. This strike is right. It's two hours into the strike, though Sandwell Hospital in the Midlands ordered these junior doctors back to work. In a letter they said the hospital is now at escalation level four and is reporting an internal incident. Well, I'd like to thank the junior doctors who ignored the BMA national advice and did go back to work. The letter was actually um, composed yesterday um, and the email was not sent out until 8.15 this morning. Um, and the strike can only be called off if there is an unpredictable um, event, so this is clearly quite predictable. All we've been offered is some pay protection for a few years and then that massive pay cut for the majority of junior doctors will come into force. We will not let that happen when the recruitment and retention of doctors is in such trouble already. It is dangerous for patients. Have you ever gone to hospital at the weekend and found it closed? What are you talking about me for? Talk to these people. No, I, because, because I'm talking about what you've just said. I, I just want to know if you ever... They're not working seven days a no, week. I just want to know first where, where you're getting that from. Talk to the doctors. Have you ever gone to hospital and found it closed? Seven days a week. Adam, have you ever gone to hospital and found it closed? Were you proud of yourself, Dr. Malawana? Is it all going like you want? You're messing up patients' lives and stuff like that. Are you happy with all that? seem that the public is rather on the side of the junior doctors as well, doesn't it? The latest survey suggesting that 66% of those questioned back this strike. And what are you going to do to make sure there isn't another strike? You talk to people inside government. In the words of one source today, they said, we all know they, the doctors, are going to lose. It's worth noting also that the government does actually have the power to impose these changes. It's not acceptable to have mortality rates at the weekend that are 11 to 15 percent higher. Now, Mr. Hunt has lied about weekend mortality. There is no yeah. increased death at weekends. Not and to the point, it is not true. The paper that he quoted from, let me tell you, he got the data a month before that paper came out. Let's ask why. There's 53% of uh, patients in this country, or people in this country, are now scared to go to the hospital on the weekend. Yeah, because they think people like you won't be there. I think number 10 know about the risks. They seem seem to be ignoring the risks. We, all, we already know from pilot studies of GPs' practices opening on the weekend that people don't want to see a doctor routinely on the weekend. They only want to see a doctor for an emergency, which we already have. I work in liver transplant. My patients do not want to come in on weekends for an emergency transplant. I have to say, we have to stop the scaremongering, and I will not stop going on no about point this. in the study did it so this was entirely due to medical staff. We need to look so at the, the service picture. is not as bad at the weekend as the government no, that, has flamed. People have actually died because of what Jeremy Hunt has said in Parliament about 11,000 deaths each year, which he attributes to junior doctors. Through half of all junior doctors, Opting he has called me militant. For the NHS. He has called me That's lacking in vocation. Sorry, NHS, this is it? quite complex for early in the morning. I've done unpaid <laughs> shifts since November. Full 10-hour shifts where I have not been paid. At the moment we have an NHS where if you have a stroke at the weekends, you're 20% more likely to die.